Okay, we're going to look at the uh, windshield, windshield fairings, instrument panel, and uh, throttle, and also the fuel tank, the fuel tank cover. It's kind of the finished kit, kind of the last thing you would do in, in, your, uh, in your kit. So you can see the windshield is not um, fully riveted in here yet. You can get to this point, and I would leave it at this point until you're pretty much done with the whole airplane. Um, and then at the last minute you can take the covering off and then use the big head rivets. So when you're doing the windshield, you want to have this piece clean put on. And then these pieces come in your kit, these windshield um, trim pieces. So they're already formed um, to the shape. So what you're going to want to do is, there's a hole in this skin, this first hole right where this first Clico is. So you're going to want to come in about a quarter of an inch and about a quarter of an inch and put a hole in the fairing and go ahead and Clico that in. And then work your way down and back here at the back, there's a little, where the little notch is, or a little bump in this um, bow, there's a little notch in the fairing. You should try to line those two up as close as you can get. And put a little clamp on that. These come to you longer than what uh, you need, but you can mark them and trim them off. So you clamp that uh, on that position, and then about every two inches, go ahead and drill through. You won't have the windshield in there yet, just these pieces. Go ahead and drill these in and put a Clico uh, in, both sides. And then once you've got all the Clicos in, then you can mark this edge of the trim piece. Or the fairing, trim it off nice like it is, and then you can locate the hole that's underneath it that's in this skin already. Okay, so you do that first before the windshield's uh, ever in here. Okay, so that's your first step, and you want to do that with this skin clicked on the bulkhead and clicked on the side rails so it holds its shape relatively well. Okay. As far as the windshield itself goes, I'm not going to take this one out because it's already in there, but um, we send you a piece that's bigger than you need. So it's really a good idea to make a template. You can use poster board, cardboard, whatever you want. You don't really need to make half of it because it's pretty much the same um, left to right. So what you do is you make a template. This one, like I said, it's just half of it. So your turtle deck bow is in, you got the fairings in. So you make a little template that slides underneath the fairing just like this one does. Okay. You can kind of see what I did here. Kind of gets you the relative general curvature. Okay? And you can lay this in, and then you mark, you kind of tuck it underneath the, the fairing, and mark the edge, which is what I did. Okay? Then when you get done, you add about three quarters of an inch of material past your um, pattern for this plexiglass to, to live down in here. Okay? So you do that all around, you kind of leave the plexiglass long, let it stick out of the back a ways, and get it shoved in here nice and tight. And then come around and go right in the middle, right in the center and put a Clico. And then come every three inches or so, works out really nice, and put a Clico. Okay. So once you get this all in position, you're gonna take it out. As this one's already been done, you're gonna sand and polish this edge really nice so it's not sharp. Same with the pieces, the edge that's underneath this, this trim piece. Now in the Ultra Cruiser we found, that we don't put any rivets down here at all on the windshield. There's so much tension on this windshield, they're really not needed. It's just one extra place to crack, and it's lighter. And the only place we, I, like to, I do like to have a, a, a rivet is here in the front, because it holds that trim down, it makes it look nice. You can see I have a hole drilled for it there. Okay, so you're gonna tuck that in real nice. You're gonna put the Clicos in here to hold that plexiglass. Okay. And again, you can leave it at this state until you're pretty much done with the airplane. If you want to, you can go ahead and rivet these in, the fairings in, with regular AVEX rivets. Okay. Again, the only rivets you want to use through here are the big head rivets. So you're going to drill one size up, as it mentions in the plans and mentions in the um, assembly video. One size up through the uh, plexiglass, and then use the soft, uh, extra large head rivets to keep from pulling through the plexiglass. Okay, so um, that's how you're going to do that. So we're going to take a look in here, if you wouldn't, if you can come around here, and I'll give you a, kind of a shot of what the instrument panel looks like and how you deal with that. Okay, so you can look and see in there, there the instrument panel's in, 
Okay. So what you do is you set the instrument panel um, back about five inches from the B bulkhead, which is right here. I don't know if you can see it in the shot or not. So here's the instrument panel. Set it about five inches back. There's three brackets. There's a bracket. You can see the cleco. There's a bracket here. There's a bracket on this side. And then what you're going to do is you come up underneath and there's a bracket up, up right on the top. Okay. So when you do the instrument panel, since this piece is in place now and locked in, it's only click good. You, you might have to sand that panel nice a little bit to make it fit uh, in the opening. It's good to have a little bit of a space because you don't want it to rub and vibrate. Okay, so there's three brackets, a little metal bracket at the bottom, one here, and you can see the rivets on the top, and then one off the side. And that's how you put that in. That in. So you can do it with this off. You don't have to be on. Okay, but um, it's kind of easier if you just pop this off. That's why we leave the goes in this. So you pop it off. You can also see it there. I don't know if it's easy to see from this picture or not, but there's a throttle bracket down in there. There's a little throttle bracket right here. This throttle bracket. Put that pretty much just a hair behind the instrument panel. And it comes to you already pre-bent. You rivet it across the side rail, um, then rivet out to the skin and it'll stay in there, and that's where our throttle goes right through. Okay, kind of on to the next uh, next step here we're going to do with this, just click that in place. Uh, the fuel tank, this is an old fuel tank I'm just using for demonstration purposes. A couple things we really need to do with the fuel tank. Um, it sits in, as you know, pretty much right about there, or so. Okay. But we don't want it just to sit on these side rails. It's not really, really a great idea. There's some welding there and some other things that will cause it to, to rub through. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you put a big bead of silicone, like quite a bit of it, be pretty generous, um, some, some clear silicone, and then I would put maybe some packing tape or something on this so it doesn't actually stick to the, to the fuel tank. All right, so when we get to that point, I'm just getting you ready, we're going to want to put silicone on there, and we're going to stick this tank in the silicone so it kind of softens it up. Okay. You put three or four strips of uh, weather stripping on this tank as well, um, so when we put the um, tank cover on it, it kind of locks it in place. So where does the tank go? How do you figure that out? Well, what we're going to do is we've got our tank skin, our tank cover skin here. So we're going to have this in place. As you can see, the tank needs to go forward a bit. So we can have this in place. Okay. And you can see from the kit parts, um, the holes line up down here. So you click on this in place. Go ahead and get this cap centered right where you want it. Okay. And I would go ahead and take a minute and click on this whole tank cover in place. I'm not going to do it here, I'm just kind of showing you. So, you get this in place, you click it in, you kind of position this where you want it, so it's right in the middle of the opening. Okay. Then don't touch this and take this skin back off, and it'll let you know exactly where that tank's going to be. So what I would do then, give yourself a, maybe a pencil mark or a, a marker or something there. Okay. So now you know that you need to have your silicone go from here to here. So really glob that up with silicone. So have the tank off, or your packing tape, or whatever tape, wax paper, whatever you want to do around the tank. Put a pretty, pretty good amount. I mean, probably three eighths or a half inch thick of clear silicone. You've got your mark where the tank goes, and then you're going to want to press the tank down in there, okay. and then take your skin, click all the skin back on, and leave it set. All right, and then that. Um, silicone will kind of adhere to the shape of the bottom of the tank and act like a really nice cushion to keep it from wearing through. Okay. The tank doesn't go anywhere once it's in place with the weather stripping on and the fact that it's tapered and the cap sticks through. The tank doesn't go anywhere. So there's no other brackets that hold the tank in other than the pressure down uh, from the skin and the weather stripping. So there will be some force when you put the skin on as expected because it holds the tank in place. And so that's how the tank ends up going in. 
So again, all this is just click code in. We don't have to do anything that's permanent yet. We just kind of get all this stuff set up, leave Clicos in it, because then we can put our instrument panel in, we can work on our instruments and do all that stuff we want to do before we ever have to rip this stuff in place. Okay. With this in place, you can remove these Clicos and take this out, and this windshield will stay right, in, right intact. It'll stay right in the shape it's in. This adds a lot of strength to this whole assembly. So you can take this whole thing off and set it uh, on a table and come back to it later um, to do it. You'll see in some of the other videos that uh, we have for the H5 is very similar, but I wanted to point out the Ultra Cruise is a little bit simpler uh, because we don't have to put Clicos along this edge. We do in the H5. Uh, the Ultra Cruiser we don't. The tank installation is very similar in the H5. Um, same, same exact method. There's other fuel lines that run up to the H5 other than that, but the method of putting in is exactly the same as this. Um, same exact system, silicone, the whole, the whole thing. So that's kind of how we do that. So that's what you're going to see in the finished kit. Um, when you kind of get to this point, you're doing windshield, you're doing instrument panel mount, you're doing throttle bracket, you're doing fuel tank, you're doing fuel tank cover, and after the fuel tank cover's on and you get your engine and stuff in, then you're doing the uh, engine cover later. Okay, so we'll have another video later about engine installation and um, some basics of doing that as well. Okay? Thanks.